Hey everybody, Big J, Historic Anderson Farms. Got Schiff on the camera, say hey. Hi. Got TB here with me. Hey. Now, what do we got here, TB? This is reclaimed antique heart pine. Okay, reclaimed antique heart pine. So let's kind of break that down a little bit. I've talked about it some. Uh, it's a term that we, we, we will use a lot um, throughout this whole project. Now, reclaimed meaning that it come from a previous structure. Okay, that can come from anything. Uh, heart pine, meaning that it has, it's a pine tree, and that it has the heart, which is the red, the big red center. And so, an antique, meaning that it's old wood. It, it's not just, uh, you can have new growth heart pine, which I've used a lot, which is great wood. Um, antique, meaning it's old. It's going to have a darker red uh, patina to it, just because it has a time to age and, and that kind of thing. So, I'm going to have uh, shift zoom in here. Right here, I'm going to show you the, the difference. Now, these are some nice big uh, true 4x6s uh, here, and we'll be using those under the house, and I'll be explaining why here in a sec. But let me show you this heart. This is kind of cut right here. You can see this red, and then a little bit of kind of a whiter color, lighter color. That's the sap. Now, the heart, that's what we're really interested in. That's what's uh, very resistant to insect, water damage, all that stuff. Now, the sap's not. It's still got tight rings, and it'll still be strong. Um, because of the virgin timber just naturally grown and you can just see how tight these rings are It's very heavy and it's extremely strong and that's why a lot of these buildings are still standing um, now we're obviously trying to modernize the house that we're in and uh, Deal with some issues that had a lot of had more sap and of course that's where all the damage came from the place They have a lot of heart not much damage uh, at all so that's what you kind of see there. You see that white there? So just a little bit of this board has got more sap and the rest of it's got a lot of heart. And throughout these boards, you're gonna have kind of a mix of that. Some will have more heart, some will have a little bit less. And so what we have here is we've got, that we're using, you got these big four by sixes. When I say four by sixes, it's a true four by six, the original dimensions. Then we got four by fours, two by fours, some two by six, and also some two by eights. And those are the ones that we had spoke of that we'll be using to do um, a lot of our foundation work. Um, you can also use a lot of treated lumber. However, this heart will actually last far longer than the, than the treated, assuming that you do have a lot of heart content in your board that you're working with. And so it also matches the house. It will have very little movement since it's already done a lot of its movement already over the past hundred some odd years. And so that's what's great about these. And then the, the two by fours, any, any, any work I'm doing in the walls, um, they're already matched. The thickness, the width, all that stuff, it's already matched. So when I put them in some of the wall places that, that I have to either redo or if I'm adding a wall, anything like that, I can use these boards instead of modern boards. And they're, they're, they're thicker, bigger, and stronger. And the reason why they're so strong, again, because the grains are so tight um, in, these, uh, in these, it's hard. So that's going to make it really dense as well, and they're just they're just bigger boards. They're true two by four, true two by eight, true four by six. So that's why we're going to use all these boards. And so you can kind of see all of them uh, laid out there. Um, now these here on the right, now those are not those are just some other boards uh, from from some other project. But pretty much these old kind of gray boards, kind of a kind of big pile of these uh, antique hard pine here. Not all of it is totally antique hard pine i mean it's all reclaimed so that there'll be a mix you, you could you, you can tell when you pick that board up and you've worked with it long enough i've been working with antique heart for about 14 years when you pick that board up you can tell this is heart and no, there's a lot of sap in this or this is a mix because if it's heart it's going to be very heavy and so w without even having to cut the board i can usually pretty much tell how much heart that it has and what i'm trying to use and where it's going to be at and that kind of thing um a lot of people don't don't use this wood for structure um, because it is expensive wood. Um, however, um, I, I like it for structure as well because it's so durable long term. We tend to think a lot of modern houses just kind of structure, kind of throw together, and then whatever you can see it, see on the outside, that's what we might use to uh, hire in stuff to make pretty. I'm a big believer in making the structure strong also, and this is why we're using so much of this. And that'll be kind of a mix of it in the house, depending on what I come into contact with. Um, but, but definitely using that kind of combines some of the the modern technology with the poured concrete that kind of thing to kind of uh, stabilize more so there won't be as much movement as far as underground 
uh, but also bring in some of that reclaimed antique hard pine and uh, whatever I'm not using, a lot of that will be showcased throughout the house. The house itself will be a big showcase because so much of the wood will be stripped off uh, from, from the old paint so that you can see the beautiful antique hard pine. So this is pretty much it, and this is what we'll be working with. And uh, so looking forward to it. I, again, anything that I'm not using structurally, I'll probably use for uh, cabinetry, maybe some uh, mantel pieces, uh, just a lot of stuff like that. Um, so again, don't forget about our uh, uh, Historic Anderson Farm t-shirts. It's got, in this case, Big J. There's a whole bunch of different sayings you can go on, long on, you can see that if you want to turn uh, turn around here. TB, it's got Historic Anderson Farms, 1838, 2021, little tractor on it. Uh, Homestead for Life, and then our, our website. Um, that, that's, the, that's the slogan ones. And then, of course, what I'm wearing, it just has the big logo on the front. And then Homestead for Life and our um, website on the back. So, um, like and su uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time.